this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to draw accurate terrain. Now, in another tutorial, I've shown you how to use soft select, where we just took a plane, we added a bunch of segments to the plane, and we just used soft select to pull up parts of the plane. So we converted that to an editable poly. Once that was an editable poly, we could grab vertices here, turn on soft select, and we could adjust this fall off, and it allowed us to create this terrain. Now in this tutorial, instead of doing that, I want to show you how to do an accurate terrain. So say that you were modeling a specific mountain in your scene. So what I'm going to do is on the same plane that I just created, I'm going to apply a picture so that we can use that to trace. So I'm going to go to my material editor by hitting M. Uh, I'm going to use the compact material editor this time. We'll come down here to the diffuse, choose a bitmap, and I'm going to go grab the picture and I'll be right back. All right, I've got this topo map right up here, and this topo map is actually of round ball carver's gap as part of the AT. And you can see the lines of the topo map. So we're going to look straight on this. I'll close my material editor. Now, if you're not familiar with topo maps, you can look them up, but these lines indicate a rise or a drop in elevation. So for instance, this one circle right here, I can tell is about the top of the mountain. There might be a little bit of additional elevation change, but each of these lines signifies a certain amount of elevation change. So what I'm going to do is come over here to my line tool, and I'm going to copy this. And remember with our line tool, if you click and drag, you create curves. And it is kind of hard to see, but when you get to the end, make sure you close the spline. And for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm only going to do about three of these. And you can see right here, this line right here is actually the Appalachian Trail there. So we'll do one more. Okay, so now I've got three of them. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab the plane, and we're going to drop the plane down. And I'm going to grab each of the lines that I did, so starting with the middle, and I'll pull it up. And if you're going to do this to scale, because each of these lines indicates a drop, you would want to find out what the difference is between these two lines. So, for instance, on one topo topo map, this might be a 10 foot elevation change. On a different topo map, this might be a 100 foot elevation change. So you would want these to be the appropriate distance apart. So when you get those set, we're going to click on our bottom one first. We'll come over to our geometry, compound objects, and hit terrain. And you can see it can it fills this bottom one in all the way. So we're going to pick our operand. We're going to select our next level of elevation change. And then we'll do the same thing for the top. And you can see, if we turn that pick operand off, how it's starting to build our mountain up. Just as an addition, I have gone through and traced two separate peaks, and we're going to pull both of those peaks out. So the way we're going to do this is similar to what, how we did it before I dropped this bottom plane. I'm going to grab 
both the high pieces by using my control and clicking on both of them. We're going to pull them up to the top. And then I'll go down one at a time past that, grabbing each one. And pulling them up one at a time. And I want to make sure that I got all of them, so I'll go back through. And we're gonna, I'm gonna hide this plane by right clicking, hide selection, and then we'll go one at a time just to make sure that we've got each one of them. So I missed that one right there. And it's easy to tell which one's which because they'll be in order of size. So, for instance, when we move into here, we see that this one is longer than this one. So that usually indicates that it's below. Not always, but usually. Now that I've got them all separated, I'm going to decrease the amount of space I have between the two, or excuse me, decrease the amount of space I have between all of the lines so that I get a more realistic representation of what the top of this mountain looks like. And we'll go through and our pick our operands. And I'll unhide our map so that you can get an idea of where we're going with that. 